Hi, boys and girls. It's Friday. Woohoo! It's Friday. Our last phonics lesson of the week. Now, you may not be listening to this on Friday, right? Because today is a very special day for your mommy. Every day is special for your mommy. You need to be kind and you need to help around the house, okay? And hopefully she is right there next to you and she knows that I'm right. <laughs> okay, well, you guys, we are just going to go over a special sound chart, 13, and we're going to also go over another chart and practice our short, long, short sounds and our long sounds, all right? So I hope you're ready for your lesson. Let me go ahead and share the screen with you. And I know this chart looks familiar, but we always need practice, right guys? So let's begin with full and beautiful F-U-L. Full and beautiful F-U-L, just like your mommy's, right? And your grandma's. Here we go. Full in beautiful F-U-L. Air in care, A-R-E. Tin in mountain, T-A-I-N. You're in pure, U-R-E. Cheer in pasture, T-U-R-E. War in warm, W-A-R. Shun in nation, T-I-O-N. Shun in missionary, S-I-O-N. Jun in television, S-I-O-N. A in eight, E-I-G-H. Er in sailor, O-R. Er in dollar, A-R. I in crystal, Y. Air in cherry, E-R-R. -R. Very good. Did you follow along with me? I hope you did, boys and girls, because that's the only way that you're going to get better. Now, the next thing I'm looking for here is the special sounds of what? Not special sounds, but we are going over some sight words, boys and girls. Now, these sight words are very important to learn. Why? Because these words do not follow any of the rules. They are simply learned by sight, right? So let's go over them. Number one is your, remember your. Number two is from, have, was, come, you, I, the, and of, right? Let's say them again. Number one, your. Number two, from, have, was, come, you, I, the, and of. Now remember, um, the sight words are marked with a circle and eyelashes. And that's really important that you remember in case you are reading and you see a word that is a sight word, boys and girls, you circle it and give it eyelashes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go over this chart with you. This is a review of the long vowel sounds. Most of you already know them. If you don't, well, just go ahead and do this along with me and it'll be a good reminder if you already know it, you know it. If you need to learn it more, this is great. So we're looking at the five long vowel sounds. What are the long vowel sounds? It's A and acorn, E and eagle, I in ice cream, O in open, and U in uniform. And what does that U also say sometimes? Ooh, right? You got it. You knew it. I can hear you all the way over here. You said, ooh, Miss Martinez, and you are right. So let's go over these blends. Remember, a blend is, uh, what is it? A consonant with a vowel. So these are all long vowel sounds for these vowels, and you just need to know what the consonants are, which you already know all of your consonant sounds. So for example, this one, we're gonna start with this one. I'm underlining it in red. Here we go. It's b, a, bay. Here we go, you got it. Let's go to the next one. Phi, ho, re, lo, J, Psi, D, Key, Toe, Goo, or maybe you, right? New, what is this one? Mew, or moo, probably, right? Sometimes. 
K and pi. Did you get those? I hope you did. If you want to go over it again, you could just pause it and rewind this and watch this video over again and look at this chart in specific, okay? So now we're gonna go on to the next chart, which is this here. And we're looking at short vowel sounds and the long sounds. Now, if you watch carefully, the first word is going to say the short vowel sound, a, a, e, a, a. Why? Because there's one vowel in the word, so it says usually the short vowel sound. The word next to it is going to change the sound completely because you're going to see there's two vowels now. It's either going to be two vowels go walking, the first one says the talking, long vowel sound, and the second one is shh, silent, or it's two vowels in the, in the word, so the first one's the long sound, and the magic E is at the end. We'll see what happens, okay? Let's look at the first example here. It is pal. We're looking at pal, one vowel, and now it changes to pale, two vowels. Pal, pale, you understand? The second vowel changed it magically to the long vowel sound. Got it? Okay, let's go on. Tim, time. Oh, look, the first word is capitalized. It's somebody's name, Tim. The next word is time because it has that magic E. So it magically turns the short vowel sound into the long vowel I sound. Got it? Okay, keep following. Let's move through it. This is cut, cute. Got it? Okay, let's go. Not, to, note. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next one. Red, to, read. The next one. Hop, to, hope. Pet, to, Pete. Oh, look, Pete is also capitalized because it begins, right, a name. So, Pete, the P in Pete is capitalized. The next one is at, to, eight. Kit to kite. And the last words are tub to tube. Oh, there's a word that you use a oo to instead of you, right? At A E I O U. Remember, I say sometimes it's oo. There it is. Tube, right? Very good. Tub, tube. All right. Good, guys. So, did you follow along? Good. I'm glad you did. All right, so that is our lesson for today. And I hope you learned something. And if you did, that's great. And most of you already knew what we looked at today, but it's always good to review. And that is very important, right? Because sometimes, oh, we forgot that's why. And so now we learned it. So have a great weekend and have um, a fantastic day and remember to be kind to your grandma, to your mommy, and to everyone around you. All right? Love you and you have a great weekend. Bye.